This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aquarius from December 16th to the 30th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? The world. The Four of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. You're about to step into some sort of very natural power, some... It's like this ascension is coming your way. This is different with the Four of Pentacles, like it's... It's almost this energy of something you didn't see coming to you, it's... It's almost like this energy where you're, you're holding back, but it's empowering. It's having this, uh, let me clarify this world energy here. We got teaching and materialism. Something is being triggered here, and it, it's changing you in some way. It's, it's, it's like a very natural evolution here for you in the next two weeks, but it's, it's almost like there's a lesson that you needed to learn. I'm getting the sense that you, you may have, you're changing your ways in, in, in some form. But it's, it's kind of like you may have been, previously you may have been trying very hard to get things, but now it's kind of like you're, you're letting them come to you. You're influencing them to come to you somehow. There's, there's a lesson that you've just gone through. Something didn't turn out. So, something didn't give you the results that you wanted. But it's, it's changing you in a very good way. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see if how, how this affects your life, your love life. First question, how did your love interest view you in the past? Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. And the King of Cups. You're coming into this king energy here. You're, you're sitting on your throne. I'm getting the sense that, that it's like you're, you're almost, you're not looking for love. Like I know that's a, a huge cliche, right? Like love finds you when you're not looking for it, but there's something coming here that you haven't met this person yet. It, or if you have, it, it's, it's brand new energy. It's a brand new love. I feel you may have just noticed somebody. This, is the, this person is being divinely lit into your life right now. After you're, you're learning some sort of lesson, something... Something was taught to you here and you learned a very valuable lesson in, I want to say in what you give and what you receive. Like it's, it's like this discerning energy. You're acting very different here. You're, you're not, it's almost like you're not working for something. Like you, you, you're not, how do I express this? It's, We'll have to get back to this. It's, it's intriguing for you. So something is really changing you here. Let's clarify. 
Let's clarify this wheel of fortune. For them, conflicts. For you, contradictions. Yeah, this person, I'm getting the sense that they're, they're, they're in a situation, like they're in a difficult situation. And they're not showing you, this person may be wearing some sort of mask, like they're not showing you what they're going through. But there is a recognition of love here taking place. What's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time in the next two weeks? The devil, the tower, and the judgment, three major arcanas. I don't feel that you're actually with this person. This is all fifth dimensional energy here. So it's, it's like you're not, this person isn't part of your physical environment. They're going through a big change. Something, there's something about this person, like the, the way that, like I, I'm getting really good energy from them, but it's, it's almost like they, they're used to wearing some sort of mask. And now, Fifth dimensional energy is not allowing them to do that anymore. It's creating a very, it's a very hard situation, but it's, it's kind of leading them to you in a sense. Like there's, there's this judgment call that's being made. And I feel it's because you're, you're ready for this here. Like you're, you're on a different path. Somehow, like, I'm having trouble explaining this, but it's kind of like you're in this energy where, like, you've matured in love, you've matured in how you influence people, but you, you're doing it in a way where it's not you working for things. Like, you're, you're almost stepping back here and allowing fates to to attract things to you like you're 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 you've you've made some sort of decision some sort of rule some sort of judgment in your life let's clarify this judgment card because that's what's triggering this person to come towards you like the fates are stepping in the spirits are stepping in to to create not not a good situation for them but it's so that these contradictions in their life, they come down. I feel this, this person has learned to, it's like they've, they've learned to, to kind of hide who they really are so that they, they fit into their environment. But because they have this mask, if they, if they came towards you, it wouldn't work out. Like there's this mask that has to come down from them because you're ready for this. You're this, this rule that you made, this judgment call, your energy is ready and it, it's triggering things to happen so that they become ready. Let's clarify this judgment for you, for them, invention, for you, learning. Yeah, there was a lesson that you just went through. There was a teaching. And a lot of times we get taught these lessons over and low, over again. Like it's, it's so hard to learn lessons, right? Like <laughs> karmic lessons, like, like things that are part of our path. Because lessons are never easy to learn. I feel that you have learned. You've graduated in some way. You've defined a new set of rules in how you're going to conduct yourself. And I feel it, it's kind of like you're... You're not going to allow yourself to, to put yourself on the line. Anyway, it, it's a new, it's like a new you, like you're, you're reinventing yourself here, but it's, it's triggering, 
it's triggering things in their life to, to bring upon this change so that you can both be together. What does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? That's a good question, but I feel that you've already learned it. Let's rephrase that. What does the universe require from your love interest before they're allowed into your life? Because they're the ones that are going through this. It's a bit traumatic for them. It's not easy. They may be, there may be a situation in terms of where they live. It, it's, it, there's something not working out there. What does the universe require from this love interest before they're allowed into your life? Queen of Wands. The Chariot. And the Hermit. So much fifth dimensional energy. Two more major arcana cards. You've already learned here. Like you're, you're, you're almost like the teacher. In a sense, like you're, you're shining this, this light, this enlightenment towards them. You're dealing with someone who's very socially savvy. Like this is someone who really puts a lot of focus on their appearance, on how they appear to others. But there's something here. Let's clarify this chariot between you both. For them, consideration for you, reverence. Yeah. Somehow you're gaining reverence by, by being outside, by not being outside, but being separate, being alone, being... Uh, Somehow this person is noticing you. But how is this? Like, I'm getting this energy where, like, there's something that you're doing. Like, something, it was, it was a lesson that you had to learn. But it's like you were reluctant to learn some sort of lesson. And your reluctance to this, but you, you changing in this way, it, it's like some sort of beacon to this person. It, it, it's like something that you're, something's triggering them to come towards you. Like, like it, it's in this energy where it's like they recognize you. This could be, I'm looking at the star. Like, this could be a soulmate. Like, I haven't seen any soulmate indicators, but it, this could be a soulmate thing where, where it's like, I'm getting the sense where, where they recognize you for, for not wanting to to do something, but doing it. it, it it's, it's like this energy where it, something that you're doing and you're, you're almost pulling yourself out of how do I, I can't pinpoint this, but something, something you're doing is making them recognize you. Like it's making them want to, to come towards you here. Like the thing that changes for this person is when they, they recognize you because that, that's what creates this element of this chariot. It's like they, they start moving through the obstacles to get to you. Because of your reverence, your reverence for yourself. This is very complicated. I can't really get this straight. But it's somehow, somehow, this person, it's like they're pulled to consider something. Something that takes them out of this element of, of being this the social status symbol, like this vanity, I want to say. In the extended, we'll look into 
<laughs> what happened that made the love interest act the way they did towards you? I don't feel that that you've actually been in, in each other's energy yet. Like you're, you're you're not in it yet. I think you you've you've seen them, but you I don't feel that they're with you yet. Let's change that. We'll say uh what happened that made your love interest act like this socialite, like wanting everyone's approval? Uh, we'll ask, what are your love interest's current feelings towards you? That's a good question. I wonder if they, they've noticed you yet. What's something that will surprise you about this love interest? And we'll ask, how will this love interest affect your life? Good questions. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.